everybody. Welcome to another dev stream. We're all <laughs> as much as I can do. <laughs> falling up. <laughs> Two days post Duviri Paradox launch, and we're gonna get into it. <laughs> Talk about it. The very paradox is out. How do you feel? How do we feel? <laughs> Sorry about that. Unhinged. All right. <laughs> update as well we asked the team to do things that they've never done before we we wanted to have not only a roguelite mode we also wanted it to have an open world and we wanted it to have a boss fight at the end so we really did ask the team for a lot and because of that you know i take the full responsibility that there are of course bugs with the update we are fixing them the team is working on fixing them there's going to be a hot fix today but i think the the, the mouthfeel of everything that's there works so well and is so different for warframe that bugs aside, which we will fix, I feel very happy that Duviri is what it is. Oh yeah, How, what do you think of the update? No one asked you. Yeah, no one asked me. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 actually, you should tell us how to feel. Wait, can you go to my game? Uh, don't you dare, <laughs> don't you dare. Do it, Dean. Who are you gonna listen to? Who do you it, Dean, to, just Dean? for like two seconds. Just two seconds, just do it. You're about to make an enemy. <laughs> there you go, there you go, that's all you need. Ass! Anyways, um, one of the things that was brought up a lot was can we replay the quest? And that's something that, there's a hurdle we always ask ourselves when we're making quests is, can we have this replayable on launch? Oh, sweet, geez. The answer's no. <laughs> the answer's no, but is there a world where we one can? We won't be putting resources toward that anytime soon, uh, just because we have a lot we need to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually don't think we definitely will do it. It's a matter of when. I think we could make a new account. <laughs> 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 no, I don't think we will. No. No, I don't think I will. Next step for decrees. Do we add to them? What's the vibe? Uh, yeah, so we are going to add more decrees uh, over time. Well, Before we shift, I was like, we should do cursed decrees, where it's sure at minus 5 to speed, but plus 20 to damage or something. So I really want to try cursed decrees also. Well, gentlemen, you have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. A lot of feedback about the kind of loadouts and the RNG behind it. Mm and specifically, you know, feedback about Steel Path yeah. and wanting to have your Steel Path loadout. So just kind of overall how we're feeling about. For, for me, that's a two-part two answer. One is the Steel Path feels very different when you're an unranked intrinsic drifter than when you're not. Loadouts don't matter as much when your drifter has 10 endurance, 10 combat. Like when you, you know, build your drifter to max, the loadout matters still, but it matters a little less. <laughs> Are you serious? With, with uh, just not getting a frame that can help them, especially survive. So some of the boons that we have been looking at already are things that strip armor, which is obviously very useful in steel path if you didn't get a frame that, that can strip armor, or uh, things that are like more pure survivability. So part one was, it's working as intended, but part two is, but there's a lot to be said for, if you don't get things you want to play, you're not going to play the video game, and that's obviously a problem. It's definitely something we're going to have to keep on reevaluating. In conclusion, get good, that's not what we're saying. <laughs> then die. Oh, do but, I play Komi? Uh, yes, you do. Good luck. <laughs> With the controller, I can Go like, left, to go up. I can, no, go ahead. Ahead. Ram, take over. Ram, no, no. I can screw you up. Stop. Ram. You're gonna crash the game. Careful. Ram. Even now, the evil seed of what you've done germinates within you. Uh, get out of here. No decree for you. We are, uh, when we were putting Devere together, we did want to ship it with a Warframe, and then we wanted to ship it with another Warframe. But then we were like, let's just focus on the update, move the Warframe out. But we do and have had a Warframe in development for quite some time uh, that is Devere based. It is a Warframe that has very strong themes about betrayal, about, uh, you know, some, some aspects of Devere that you'll find out. Uh, he's going to release with new content and a new piece of the world coming back. This is the Cyan Dana. Yes. That whoever will have come with. That's awesome. There's also a shotgun yes. that's coming. Here's a couple ideas that we're kind of going through the team. Yeah, he's going to have a shotgun. Oh. 
Yeah, let's take a look. You might need to free cam a little. <laughs> and we kind of know like support versus. <laughs> uh, uh, definitely uh, damage based. Yeah. Attack, attack, attack. Very attack. Actually get um, Pablo to help song you know, with sound design, because he stabbed me in the back so many times. So it's perfect. <laughs> oh, Whoa. my <laughs> word. Whoa. Pablo, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call. Stalt. He will not abide by the Leon Kennedy discussions. And for that reason, he has stabbed me in the back. Because all I want to <laughs> do is talk about Leon Kennedy. So. Women. Get How do you quick. feel about Gauss Deluxe? <laughs> awesome. All right. Yeah. So what was the inspiration? Uh, speed, as one would expect, and then vague overtones of space Hermes meets uh, Mecca. Oh man, that was Mecca space Hermes. There you go. This is a incredible concept by Takaya Lee. Also part of Gauss Deluxe, the Exceltra. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a couple yeah. concepts, just yes. rough ideas, what it's going to look like. We have a few, and then they got into missiles. the missiles. Missiles, <laughs> important. Missiles. Missiles. missiles go there. Important foot missile. Right, right. Yeah. Foot missile here. <laughs> Key information in the concept yep. art. Yeah. Oh, Gauss Deluxe on horse Very Gauss Deluxe. Horse. Yep. Come on. We got a helmet, we got a saddle, we got a tail. You ever want to strap a rocket to a horse? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no horses were harmed in there. No, me. that's it. Yeah. Just getting big. Huh. Well, so here's just a little brief uh, you know, teaser, if you will, of the deluxe items. And we'll go one by one. Yeah. Gotta do. What we've got to do. So you have this, it, the X is for 10, because it's our 10th oh, anniversary. That's cool. Yep. And uh, as well coming with it is a repier skin. So nice. Giving mm. Dex, giving Lotus. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a little Genshin or something, right? Mm. I love that <laughs> Yeah, one. the Lotus is in the... Look at the speed and the danger. Oh, I oh. know. The He's speed. <laughs> and if you three in the glyph style up there. Oh, we have a sigil as well, matching sigil, and then, Pestle Prime not included, <laughs> Lotus Floof. Oh, oh my god. Look at her. <laughs> we got a Lotus Floof. Oh. You're trash, kid. Have a wonderful <laughs> night and day, everyone, and we'll see you on the next primetime, next dev stream, and we'll be doing some hot fixes. So, thank you so much. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ass!